exciting. Ted, tell us what's going on. The signs are going up. The signs are going up. So don't f it up. I'm trying. But no pressure. I'll be the pallet. We'll get to the side done and it looks beautiful. That looks so cool. I'm so happy. I feel awesome. all official now. Yeah, you are all official now. I'm giving this like a solid six on the sketch scale. Are you afraid of heights or something? I am right now. John, you look terrified. I am. Shit, you guys like so tall. I mean, if you were to fall, you'd definitely die. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> this wind won't let me pull it out right now. Sure, but I think the sketch factor might have just gone up to like an eight. Got it. Hey, Johnny, ready to come down? Yep. As usual, I've been in the editing dungeon. So I've completely missed the excitement that's been going on out here, you guys. They're not even in the big shop. They're in the other shop. And look what's happening in here. Happened. Happened. It's Tempest. done. It's completely done. No, this is just uh, this is just a primer. This is primer. Epoxy primer. We epoxy primer the whole thing. Wow. Tomorrow we paint. Nice. For the beer. Yes. Yes. You earned it. This thing is awesome, man. It looks so much different now, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks so amazing. So much different. It looks like one vehicle now instead of, oh, you added this thing to this thing. You know, now it's like, oh, it is this thing. Exactly. For God's sakes, don't fall down in the pit. Hey, hey you know what's funny, Carrie? I was just actually reminiscing. This was crudely drawn by me in paint over a year ago. Microsoft Paint is what it means. Yeah. Oh. I truly drew this from a, a, a drawing I found of, of this vehicle. It's like, oh, it'd be so cool, but it's too small. Let's extend the top. So then you extend the top, I colored it in, I extend it the back end, I colored it in. I'll show you the picture. Oh my gosh, so that's how this idea was born. That's how it was born. After Schooly Palooza went to Moab, I was really disappointed with what uh, Sprinter Rans weren't doing on the, on the trail. Uh huh. Right? I was like, I, I need something different. Someone in our comments last night said something about, I've never seen an overlanding vehicle on a Hummer. Humvee. Because there isn't. Yeah, exactly. No. Until now. Until Wolf Riggs. This is like a tank. This yeah. Is, this one here is like almost bulletproof right now. <laughs> I'm not it's like a like, rolling bomb shelter. <laughs> if you could like reline this thing with some Kevlar, it would stop a lot. <laughs> Even the inside is painted. The windows on. Yeah. And the way the stairs come out. Oh. We're uh, shooting the Raptor liner. You want to see what we did so far? What's up, Carrie? It's so exciting every time you see this thing without the uh, two tone watch colors. Your strip, of watch paint. your head and don't touch anything. Oh my gosh! Wow, look at that! I got something. Wow, it's vibrant. Some spots we gotta do another coat on a little bit, but other than that, that's what this is gonna be. Do you love it? I do. Huh? Now we're gonna keep the hood. Not be said by rock You can take my money, steal my car and 
sell my clothes You can take the shoes I'm in Go on and take everything You can have about everything One spot that's missed right there. Hey, Mike. Mike, just don't f it up. <laughs> well, see, don't point a loaded gun unless you intend to shoot. Right. <laughs> Are you almost ready for another chance? No. no. I'm telling you, this stuff's going on so good. This is the color I want to paint the Jeep. What do you guys think? Yes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but... How's it looking want? in here, guys? Yeah. Oh, don't sweat it. Killed the John. John's got a smiley face in his shirt today. I know that. That's a custom. That. that was a custom right there. That's a custom Mike, Michael King. <laughs> Done in Raptor liner. Face all gray. It comes in every color. If you want to buy one, 1995 on Etsy. 1995? 1995. It is custom art, so... I think I, I, I need my paint for it. That's right. All right, I'll bring it back. So, for those of you joining us for the first time, this is the patent. It's made by mostly veterans. At Wolf Riggs. <laughs> At Wolf Riggs. USA. In the USA. This is the ultimate, ultimate overlanding rig. Tougher, beefier, stronger than Earth Roamer, than anybody. This is, and comes in at a better price point. I'm not gonna drop that bomb yet, but, this is, this is the patent. Okay, I haven't seen the latest version of the paint job. It is time. We finished shooting the gray. And then. Whoa, the what? windows! Oh my gosh! Wow! Look it up. looks great with the windows in. Okay, oh like my sense. gosh, and the yellow interior pulled up. Oh my god, it's so awesome. I kind of love it. You had to tie in from the back, like the back was all yellow. And we felt like, you know, there needed to be a tie in from the back to the front. Yeah, And yeah. so, Penny, now this isn't gonna be like a stock color. This is, because it's customizable. Anybody, anything they want inside, they can just choose the color they want and we'll shoot that. So, but we just decided. But not pink. But this is our, no pink wolf rings, according to Reed. Never pink. Well, talk what? talk to me offline if you want a pink. Come on, Bella. What up? Come on, let's go for an adventure. Come on, go for an adventure. Good girl. Oh my gosh, the windows are so cool. I can't believe you guys got all the windows in. I had no idea this was happening. I love it. Bella, do you love out. it? We have to shoot more paint, but it looks good. It's great. After shooting all that, I had one drip, and it was only because of Reed. Because <laughs> he's like, you need to shoot right here again. Psst, drip. It was steeping you. Right there. He steeped me, and it caused a drip. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just tell you, the painting process has been going on for several days now for different colors, different coats, different places, all the things. Oh my God, look at it. <laughs> it looks so good outside in the sunlight. Oh my God, it looks fantastic. All right, we're back in the shop. Let's see what the hum doctors are gonna be up to next. Not cosmetic surgery, just a little cosmetic lift. Wow. Wow. Cosmetic Dude, accents. So good. Having the windows in, having all the color on in all the places, it's just coming together so nicely. 
I, I want to say that, um, you know, there are some things in life where your expectations exceed the, the, out, the actual outcome, and th that is not the case here. Like, this is... I, I, I had this in my head. February... That was 2021, right? Was yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. February 2021, I had this in my head. And now you've made it a reality. It's kind of crazy. All right, we'll check back in with those guys later. From the paint booth to the shop and then back to the paint booth, these guys are keeping themselves busy with this project. But it's turning out great. It looks like a science experiment all draped with plastic like this. overspray for me in there. We'll have to go back and check it out when they're done. Oh my god, it looks so great. I can't wait till the eye gets on there. <laughs> See what I mean? In the shop, out of the shop, in the paint booth, out of the paint booth. <laughs> it's musical wolf rigs. shindig today not for the kickoff of wolf rigs but more of a like an update for the investors and new people who are coming to see it for the first time so and they've definitely not seen it looking like this yet I was doing sprinter vans and, and buses and didn't really know what I wanted to do. 
And uh, when the idea of doing an Overland vehicle that uh, was set on a Humvee chassis was just like, dude, we have to do it. So it's been literally a year and a little bit more in the design, thought, process, uh, engineering, the whole nine yards. And uh, we're at this point now, whereas yeah, what you see is uh, almost uh, ready to be lived in. Actually. You got a place and you got her done. Got yeah. a place and got her done. So, welcome to so all. Everyone knows that we were at Smedra. Uh, we probably could not have done everything we've done here at Smedra, but they gave us a great start. Thank you so much, Melissa. Yay. Love you so much. Love you more. And uh, you know what? There was uh, a circumstances come in your life that happened for a reason, <laughs> and uh, you know, got us buzzing both ways. So yeah. I want to talk to you guys about the rig, if that's okay. Yes. Yeah? Do it. Can I go sit down? Do you go sit down. Oh, oh, thanks, Unless man. you want to do this. Go ahead, birthday oh, boy. Okay, so birthday boy. You're old now. This is the patent. You know, he's an army general. He's kind of a badass. So, I actually named the thing after my, you know, my dad's uh, favorite movie in general. So it's the pat. It's rough and tough. So the outside kind of speaks for itself. Um, one thing that I found when my wife and I started looking at RVs, and this is like four years ago. This, this predates the bus, right? Is that the RVs that are out there? They're just they're not built well. They're still using Romex wire, which is house wire. And if anyone knows they've taken a piece of copper and done this with it, it, it gets brittle and it breaks. They're fire hazards. So we actually use all marine grade uh, wiring, uh, components, everything that goes into this is built to last. You can actually hand this thing down to your kids if you wanted to, or your grandkids. And it's built that way for a reason. So when we decided, when I decided to, you know, that I wanted to do an overland vehicle, I really wanted to do something that was above and beyond anything that was out there. And really, my closest competitor, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them, Earth yeah. Ever heard of Earth <laughs> No. They start at $608,000. They use a carbon fiber top. They're built on an F450 chassis, which if anyone has driven a big Ford, can they turn real tight? No, they can't. I've been on so many trails out in Moab, where it's like, I know the trails that I want to go on. I know where I want to go camping. And this goes back to the February experience of being in Moab, of saying, there's nothing out there that exists that, that really fits what I wanted to do. So, if I didn't have it out there to buy, what do you do? Build you build it yourself. So that's what I did. So um, the exterior is actually made of eighth-inch plate aluminum. And if anyone's gone up and pounded on that, go pound on that. Right here? Yeah. yeah. No, the corner. Yeah. You're gonna hurt yourself. You're gonna hit no a tree sound. Or a rock with this thing. You're gonna bounce right off. Right. And and what's really cool about it, and I'm not trying to date anybody here, but you know really our generation, we saw these Humvees growing up and go, oh my God, they're the coolest thing ever. I gotta have one, right? It's okay, we're old. And that's fine. <laughs> my target niche is our group of people, okay? 40 to 55, 60-ish, right? That group of people are gonna want one of these things. They're smaller than the Earth Roamer. They're more agile. They have a higher ground clearance. We actually run 37-inch tires on these things and we have a four inch higher ground clearance than Earth Roamer does with their 41-inch tire. They have a, a carbon fiber top where if you hit a carbon fiber top against a tree or a rock, what happens? Shatters. Shatters. You're going to be six, eight months in the shop, right? And you just spent three quarters of a million dollars on this vehicle. This starts at 315 and that's for the first four. Okay? And a lot of you, my friends and family, and you know, you know hitting you up for you know $315,000 right now may not be what you want to do, but... If you've got the equity in your house, I have a dude who can get you a loan. First is a true law. You can so pull in it out. Seriousness, what, 4%. What, what we're doing for the first Second floor. mortgages are on the table here. Right. What we're doing for, what we're we can doing do them the Tuesday. I'm meeting with them on Monday to get it all locked up. It's, uh, we're all going to meet in Vegas. We're going to drive down the uh, the Baja Peninsula down to Cabo for Christmas. And uh, be all expenses paid. And How many is that? Four. The first four. And uh, also the first four, any uh, upgrades that happen over the next two years, we're going to automatically, at no cost to you, give you the upgrade to those first four. Okay? So that's what you get for being the first four early adopters of this particular vehicle. I would love nothing more than one of my friends or family to have this. And I say that in all seriousness because honestly, I built this for me. And if I built this for me, that means I could build it for you. So if that's something you want, I would love nothing more than to have that. And we'd love uh, for you to travel with us. Right. <laughs> Thanks, Jan. So the Thanks interior is, is not done, as you already you know, probably noticed. So the top of the queen size bed, 
The one thing about me is I'm getting older, and I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this, but I'm getting a little claustrophobic. Right? Is that because we're getting closer to the grave and, you know, the thought of a coffin kind of freaks us out? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. So, I want to be sure there's a giant window up above me, yes. windows out in front of me, and open back behind me. Right? And I've got enough room up above me where I'm not going to feel like I'm in a coffin. Right? That's why the uh, that's why the queen size bed up in front is designed that way so Jen and I can be up there rolling and having some good time. Right? So, moving on to the bathroom. Who's been in an RV? Really? You're going to say ooh? Have you ever been in the bathroom in an RV and feel like, oh my god, how am I going to pee in this thing? In and how does anybody take a shower in this thing? The boats are worse. Boats are worse! Oh my god! And we're not small people. I'm not a small guy. So I came up with a toilet that actually, uh, it's a Laveo dry flush toilet system. And uh, who remembers the diaper genie? Right? You push a button, and it's like a diaper genie for adults. So the bathroom will have a urinal but also have a sink above the urinal, so the guys are not gonna you know, use all the toilet capacity that we're gonna use for the black tank. There's no black tank in this. It's all gray tank. The bathroom is actually a full-size bathroom, and it's designed that way because I like to be able to take a shower when I'm out, you know, in, out in the wilderness or whatever. I'm, you know, when we're getting a little bit older, right? I mean, we want something a little bit bigger, a little bit more than just, you know, with, like the Earthwormer has a nice little cute bathroom, but you have to take a shower with the shitter right there. Excuse my term, but you know, who wants to take a shower when you just, you know, got a, you know, took crap, right? Maybe it's okay for some people. For me, I didn't want that. So I actually have a door. It's a teak door that comes down. There was another picture that was up here. I don't know if you guys saw it, but it's a teak door that comes down, closes off the the, uh, the toilet from the shower, and take a nice, you know, residential shower. Now it only has 60 gallons of water. So if you're out truly overlanding, you don't not hooked up to water, take a quick shower. But if you're hooked up to shore power, or if you have a stream nearby. Take the shower you want and just let it go. Okay? So it's designed for that. So, where does everyone wind up at a party? On the floor. On the floor. <laughs> Greg, at your house, where, where's, where's the party? It's in the kitchen. Right. Okay, where's the party? Not in your pants. It's in the kitchen. So. The galley kitchen is the heart in the middle of the vehicle, right? You have your stove on one side, you have a sink on the other, and you have a huge booth back in the back area where all your friends can sit, right? You can have six people sit back there comfortably, four very comfortably and have a nice dinner, right? And anybody who's camping, they're probably camping with another couple, maybe two couples, but you know, what other couple is going to come and join you for dinner inside your vehicle if it's raining outside? Or if it's just you and your special someone, you know, you can be back there playing cards and you can go to bed later, okay? Back end is all your storage, okay? So some will say, and look at this, and say there's not a whole lot of storage. That was one thing that Mike said. We actually have a compartmentalized, and it's a um, compartmentalized, it's uh, the upper, modular, uh, modular, sorry, thank you, Craig. Um, modular style uh, storage will go up in the upper corners. I designed this to be very open. If you look at the renderings, we'll come up here in a second. Not that one. Wait for it. Not that one. Wait for it. There! You see how the lines are real crisp and clean? And how open it feels? And how, and, and just really just, it, it's, it's made to feel like you're not in an RV. Right, you're you're in a you're in a basically you're in a home situation, right? You look from the back to the front. It's very open and airy, and it's it's designed that way for a reason. Now, if you want to pack this thing down with storage, we have the modular uh, system that will go up at the top, also in the back. Uh, has everyone walked around this thing? Right? Everyone seen the back garage? Yes. Right? Everyone seen the inside? Yes. Any questions? Comments? Concerns? Threats? It'll tow your boat. It'll tow your car. Matter of fact, this chassis, this chassis actually will tow up to 9,000 pounds. The reason it's not rated for 9,000 pounds is because of the engine inside. The engine that it comes with uh, on the base model is a 3.9 Cummins engine. Okay, it'll have an Allison 1000 transmission, brand new trans uh, Atlas transfer case. It'll have all new uh, drive shafts, all new dashboard. Uh, AC, heat, the whole nine yards. It comes with a 50,000 mile warranty. And that's from our manufacturer that brings these to us before we do anything to it. The only thing that's original from the Humvee originally is the frame, the, uh, the Humvee uh, hubs, which have been remanufactured, by the way, uh, and the, the tub. And that's it. 
and well the the hood. Okay, and then actually we take it and that you know is the paint job not awesome? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. yeah. yeah. Right. Is the paint job yeah. incredible. Yeah. And you guys have seen me touring around this thing for a year with the with the camo style. You know, looking kind of like hoboish and you know, almost hillbillyish, right? Like and, a rich hillbilly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and finally, it looks now like something you can really just you know look at and just you know and see. So, anyway, but that's beautiful. What do you guys think? Like it's awesome. awesome. Sexy. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so if you don't want one, if you know someone who wants one, the first four, uh, we're starting at three hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Uh, it will jump up on the fifth one, probably to three fifty, simply because things are costing more money. Um, and that's just that's where the market's going. Which comes which, in half. Less yeah. Than half. Which is less than half of our competitors. So um, that's all. Most certain class included. No, that is actually an option though. However, um, every option you can think of can be available on this to an extent. Bulletproofing is one of those things that we've actually seriously considered, but we're not thinking about doing right off. What is the weight? It's the weight and it's the, uh, the the cost of the materials on that. I mean, you we're looking at probably the four fifty to five hundred thousand to do one that's bulletproof, but that is in the works. And this goes back to what I'm going to talk to you guys about here in just a, just a few minutes. I do want to share with you uh, what we're doing as a company. So I know you know some of you guys want to know about that, and some uh, you know want to just continue drinking. So either way, we're good. Does anyone see my grandkid? They say his name's Justin, but really good. Rick's only one I can. Oh, yeah. He's so happy.